Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about The Winemakers by Jan Moran. This is Jan's new book. Um, she is also the author of The Scent of Triumph and she actually saw my review for that book and reached out to me and asked if I wanted to read her new book. This comes out today and I said yes because I loved The Scent of Triumph and I was really eager to see how her second book stood up to that one. So the first thing about this that I definitely want to talk about is that one thing I really admire about Jan is that she puts a lot of time and effort and research into the subject matter that she is dealing with in her books. And I know a lot of authors do that, but it shows so much. In The Sin of Triumph, there were so many wonderful details about the making of perfume and the notes in perfume. And with this, there is so much lovely information about the growing of grapes and the making of wine and the things that wine connoisseurs look for in wines and in the tasting of wines and and just sort of like the history and culture that is wine making and that was something that was really well done in this and something that for me was educational but it didn't get in the way of the story and that I think is also amazing because when you're dealing with a lot of language that may be foreign to a lot of people it's easy for that to overcome the book and that does not happen in this book. It's in there in a way that it adds to the story but it doesn't distract. Another thing that can definitely be said for both of Jan's novels is that she writes amazing, strong female characters. So this is the story of two women, a mother and daughter, and both of them have their own struggles in their own right, and they deal with them in such real and interesting ways, and it's amazing to see where each of them goes and the choices they make because it's set in dual times, so the 50s and the 20s, so the mom's kind of backstory is in the 20s and the daughter is in the 50s, and you're getting the mom's story as well in the 50s, but it's amazing the kinds of things that these two women did in, a t in times when women weren't really seen as independent beings, basically. So it's fascinating to me how the mother goes about her life so she is dealing with a lot of really difficult and heartbreaking situations I can't really say a whole lot without giving spoilers and she comes out of it in such spectacular fashion and when we meet her in the beginning she is already this strong amazing businesswoman in the 50s and she's an established winemaker, which is not really a common thing in that time. And she obviously passed those traits on to her daughter because her daughter Katerina is also a very strong, independent woman and it shows in all of her choices. So I love the fact that Jan writes really strong female characters. There's also a really lovely romance in this and I really enjoyed the relationship between the two characters and how it builds and the way that it was portrayed because the romance is, is kind of central to the plot but not exactly and I liked the way that it sort of was woven in and out of the story and you know it it kept you guessing the whole time. There was something you, you really wanted to know how things were going to end and turn out for these two characters. And I thought she did a really good job with a realistic, non insta lovey romance that just worked within the story. And then along with the romance, there was sort of a mystery aspect to the book that was woven in and out of the love story in an interesting way and I thought the way the two worked in tandem moved the plot forward in a really interesting way and the mystery is surrounding family secrets and you know the secrets that these two women are keeping and it's just kind of a fascinating aspect to this book that really sucks you in and makes you want to turn pages faster because you want to know how this is going to turn out and it just was a really great suspenseful read that left me satisfied when I finished the book. So I think that this was a really good follow-up to Scent of Triumph. Though the covers look similar, they are not related at all. They're not the same characters. They're not set even in the same time frame 
and so they're very different books but at the same time if you enjoy the scent of triumph you would like this one and if you read this one and enjoy it you would enjoy the scent of triumph because i think that she has a specific style especially with these two books that is very appealing to me personally all right so those are my thoughts on the winemakers by jan moran again this is out today so if you want to go pick it up you totally should i tour through this book. I was so excited about it. So yes, I definitely give this a big thumbs up and encourage you to read it if any of the things that I mentioned seem appealing to you. And yeah, if you read this, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to talk about the book. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and happy reading.